Hi, I'm Pete Delahorse, Director of Partner Development here at Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to the next edition of the Crown Plastics Newsletter. Today we're going to be talking about surface energy, and this is probably not a subject that a lot of you are very familiar with, so we're just going to describe it briefly because it's surface energy that determines what makes a product bondable or not. If something is a high surface energy, it's a very bondable material. If it's low surface energy, nothing is going to adhere very well. Typically all members of the polyethylene family are going to fall into that low surface energy category, which means they're difficult to bond. Now this is one of the things that makes Crown Plastics unique, the fact that we can transform UHMW or a polyethylene material into a bondable, bondable material. There are two ways that we do that. Number one is through a process of cooling the treatment. discharge across the surface of the material and uses that to increase surface energy. We traditionally use this on a lot of our thinner films to make them bondable. The other process we use is a flame oxidation process. actually is a more intense and it's a more permanent change to the UHMW material and uh, this is what we use traditionally if we're going to put a pressure sensitive adhesive system um, on some of the thicker gauge materials that we manufacture or typically treated for bonding which is what we supply a lot to the snowboard industry. What I have here is a couple pieces of UHMW, one which has not been treated and one which has been treated uh, using the flame etch process. Now one of the pro uh, tests that we do here is what we call a dyne test. And this is actually an ink test that we can use to determine how, uh, how much surface energy we have on the material. So basically if this marker wets out, that means we've got very high surface energy and we can bond. If it doesn't wet out, if it beads up, just like when you wax your car, that's an indication it's low surface energy. So it might be a little difficult to see here on this blue product, since I have a blue dye, but if we wet this out, uh, you can see it, it beads up rather quickly, okay? By the time you get to the third pass, this is really beating up. It's not really wetting out. If we go to the flamed material right here, you can see how this product wets out very evenly and stays. And it's, you can get three or four or five times down here, and that product stays wetted out. Okay, that's an indication that this is a high surface energy product, and it will accept adhesive systems. Now, if you're out in the field, we also have to make sure that, uh, that the substrate we're dealing with we have to know if that's a high surface energy or low surface energy substrate. If you're dealing with a powder coated paint, many of these powder coated paints are designed for release. Many of these are low surface energy substrates. We have to know that because the adhesives that we supply, some of them are specifically designed to be, to be adhered to these low surface energy substrates. Many substrates such as metal, steel, which a lot of our product goes to, many of these are high surface energy. So if you're out in the field, you know, obviously people don't have ready, ready access to dyne markers. So another easy, easy way to test is what we just call the water test. Now again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some water and just pour it here onto this UHMW and you're going to see that this water just immediately beads up and you know, it, it just wants to run off. Okay? This is a perfect example of low surface energy, exactly like you would see rain on your freshly waxed car. Now if we were to take the product that's been flamed on, uh, using the flame etch process, you can see how the product wets out, okay? And it doesn't beat up, and which means it's a good indicator that it's going to uh, accept adhesives. You can do the same thing with a piece of metal. Just pour a piece of metal on it, uh, pour a piece of water on it, and as you tilt it a little bit or move the water around, you'll see that it wets out. So this is an indication that products, is going to, products are going to adhere very well to this, this particular substrate. Uh, there's a lot more that we could get into it, and we'll be touching on that uh, at a future date. But uh, for now, we appreciate your time. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 800-368-0238, or you can email me at pete at crownplastics.com. Thank you very much.